Mike Little Evans is releasing that new fire His mixtape I Am Calvin Johnson you, Volume you, you, 1 With the new hit single called You Don't Want These Heads Featuring Ray Wright I was hungry now when the game turned greedy Was known to be needy Now was people that need me Battling up the dead because I'm What's up everybody? How you doing? This is Max Boogie from Wall Street I forgot Michael Vick was still a threat in Madden for some reason. I ain't played Michael Vick in a long time uh, because, you know, the computer doesn't really have him starting. But this guy definitely did. And on the first play, he made me realize, yeah, Mike Vick still a problem. <laughs> Speed still on like 90-something, you know what I'm saying? But Matt Forte follows his blocks good. I mess up with, the, with uh, my man Jerron the Savage. I mess him up. You see I'm using him. I've been using the, the safety for a while now. It's Jerron the Savage. Hits his own teammate to secure that tackle, but he scrambles out of the pocket again with Mike Vick, and I double tap A like uh, tap A like three times, man. I ended up stumbling. He, he scores the first drive, but uh, I'm gonna get y'all some tips this, this game. I, I haven't gave out any tips in a while, and he's not even like he's just general tips, like it, it's stuff that's gonna help you out in any game you play, any Madden game, no matter what playbook. You know what I'm saying? Because it deals with you using one playbook, but. Run away. All right, the first tip is I didn't do this. I tried to at, like, the end of the game. But um, as we get this long run right here, I ran into this safety, number 36. He's the top safety on the right side. I ran into him about, like, look, he I broke his tackle right there. But every other hit he had was always a hit stick. I don't know why, but he sucks in coverage. And I realized this game, that the dude I'm facing either played cover two or it was man coverage. And it was mostly man, so I knew the corner routes was going to be open with the tight ends and stuff like that. On his offense, though, I, I saw, the first job told me it all. I was like, oh, there's going to be another game where he's scrambling with the quarterback and you know, so all, all this other stuff. But we get the stop on uh, second down, which, look, the blitz I just sent here was the sting pinch zone. I sent six, and he was in five wide. Normally, I wouldn't do that, but with that blitz play, the uh it's a zone so it's three that play actually has three yellows in the middle and the two cornerbacks on the outside they drop back deep into the middle of the field like a cover two and it is real tough you know it worked that time he got confused didn't know where to throw the ball and we ended up getting the sack and he ended up punished the ball and now we on offense man i've been using the atlanta falcons playbook since the game has came out I know all the formations in it. I know all the run plays that actually work. I know most of the all of them. I don't really all of them that much. But I, when I do, it's for a reason. And this, I, I do the corner route again with Benjamin Watson because he's a man. You know what I'm saying? I just know what he's in because Madden likes to help you out. His next drive on fourth and two, we get the sack. We get the ball back. We run it with Matt Ford take. This is one of the run plays that actually works in this, this playbook. And we go no huddle for some reason. He run commits off the no huddle, and I just toss it up to Denario Alexander to get the touchdown before the half. Unfortunately, I fell asleep. I kicked the onside kick, thinking it was going to be a squib kick. So he gets the ball short, and he launches it up, and I pressed my cornerbacks. I pressed coverage, I showed blitz, and he scores before halftime with five seconds left. Almost messed it up. So you definitely got to watch your time when you're playing a game. Don't do throws like that unless you have Mike the Savage Evans. You know what I'm saying? He's releasing that new mixtape. Go Make sure you go check that out. It's coming soon. Matt Forte getting smacked. But Matt Forte is a savage. We got savages all over this team. He might be like a 78 overall. But, but I'm playing with savages. Benjamin Watson with another catch. You know what I'm saying? Just study, study your offensive playbook, man. Because this run play right here. I rarely run it, but it works a lot. Most of the time when you're running back, it's not tired. And if you did not notice, that was number 36, the smack Matt Forte. And he picks up the ball celebrating because he knows he's not going to score on offense again. Once you celebrate, you know you're not going to score. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's how I see it. You ever celebrate, you're not scoring on me again. You know what I'm saying? So that's how we like to do it. Get the tight pass in there. This that's probably my favorite play. You see me run that a lot in these games. And you can see fourth and two. He sends the meanest blitz ever. But I see Denario Alexander on the slant. Too quick for him. He's six four and he outran everybody else on the field. Then we got Mike Vick coming around, not stepping out of bounds. Getting the first down. 
in the fourth quarter. I already know what this guy likes to do. I got to put some contains out because he's still tackling. But that's one thing, though. He's not sliding with Mike Vick. So I, I wasn't really worried about it. I knew he was going to fumble if he kept doing it, which is probably why he stopped. Matt Forte, being the savage that he is, runs over my whole team. He tries this slant play again, but I'm on it. He's only looking at the right receiver because I'm guarding the right receiver. And since I'm guarding him, he doesn't want to throw it, so we get the sack. Coming out, we smack him. I think that was a tight end coming out of the backfield. Third and five, we send that blitzing, and I got caught up. And he throws an incomplete pass because it's Mike Vick. Flats wide open again. Throws another incomplete pass because it's Mike Vick. I don't even recommend using mobile quarterbacks because you can run the ball, run the read option with any quarterback you want. You know what I'm saying? It's not really, you, you might not get like long touchdowns, but you will get yards on uh, read option and stuff like that. He ran commit again, hit the out route. That's Stephen Hill this time. That's my fastest 6'4 wide receiver. And um, we, we kicking up right now. Almost got the sack. He broke the tackle coming in again. Hit from behind. All out blitz this play. He throws it up. McKelvin with the interception. Now we back on offense. And I remember he celebrated. So, you know, I'm not about to run the clock out. I'm doing another play. I do a play action out of the single back ace. Throw it up to Mike Evans. You can see that one-handed catch on two defenders in the end zone. He gets the ball back, man. Game's over, man. Everything locked up. Get the sack. Ends the game. No timeouts, man. But, you know, we win by 21, so... Use one playbook, man. It definitely helps out your offense. You just you just know where everything is at. You know what works and you know what don't work. And you just got an idea. You might get a favorite play out of that. If y'all want me to post up on how I run my favorite play, it's like I, I called it over a thousand times, basically. Since we got since the game first came out, I called it more than a thousand times. Know your opponent, you know what I'm saying? Madden makes it so easy to, to know what your opponent does. So, you know, you just use it. You know what I'm saying? He, he played man a lot. Played cover two. I knew it. Did ran some man beaters. You know what I'm saying? So, I got the easy dub. Real easy. Should have only scored seven points on me. But it don't matter. But this video is coming to an end. So, always remember, in the street we trust, I'm out.